Well, everyone, we're back for something really cool. It's a dairy auction. All dairy collector items. Uh, it's really cool milk cans, a lot of ones you don't really see too often. Johanna Farms. And you usually don't find them with the plates. In fact, I've never seen them with the plates. I don't know if those are add-ons or if they're really, like, original. Because I can honestly say I've never seen one. Um, I'm thinking they're original. But we'll see what happens. See what my thing. It looks like a very expensive auction. But you never know, I might slip through the cracks. Eagle Springs Water is this chipped. It is chipped. Very nice. This is a great Franklin's collection, and I'm sure somebody will still not give her the chip. Because you'll probably never see another one like it. Chipped or not chipped. That's a that's the life of it. So these are probably the valuable ones, these plastic ones. Kruger dairy products. I don't know if this stuff is all like, it was a museum at one point, but everything is like labeled. So it might have been. I don't think it was just a collection, but like everything has these paper stocks. Butter worker. It's almost like it was a museum, which means you got museum quality stuff here. This is just toys, but a lot of things that you don't see a lot of, and if you see a lot of it, these are like the more rare varieties. Like a lot of these sacks I've not seen before. Like ever. So it's almost like they're like the rare or hard to find sacks. They have a whole collection of farm related and trucker snapback hats inside. And I've been in there probably, probably like seven times just look at them, trying to figure out which ones are worth more than 20 bucks. And I found like three hats that I'd be willing to spend $10 a piece for. Maybe, maybe two hats, but a lot of them. Um, they, if anyone out there sells clothing and knows that trucker hats and hats in general are really difficult to sell if you don't have the right following and uh, if you don't have like the right topic and farm related trucker hats are just so common um, same with like seeds and all that so there's certain styles that sell very well but none of them are here so a lot of them are just ten dollar hats ten fifteen dollar hats and then the conditions an issue but it is I wouldn't say nerve-wracking waiting for it, but I've looked at them a lot. It's, it's kind of a bad disease. Maybe I can bring you guys in there. This is sort of neat. Superior Sanitary Churn. It is out of uh, ceramic. Tell you what, there are some things you never see before at this auction. I'd be so scared. I guess you turn this upside down. I'm not going to, but I'd be so scared for this glass insert to fall out because I bet there's not a lot left in the world. Now 
selling trucks now. Toy trucks. Though you might be able to buy it here, it's 500 bucks. 575. <laughs> 675. Wow. Gotta go back look at my Tonkas. They're not Tonkas, though. It's getting down to the end of the auction. I did buy a couple things, but definitely not filling the van. Elf, seamless. Oh, Bems. Dennis. I bought all the shelves except, well, most of the hats sold for like 20 bucks each, but I bought the rest for five bucks a shelf. All right, so I made it back home. My total bill for today was $105.60. Um, yeah, uh, I guess a lot of the money came from buying the uh, the hats. Uh, originally, so like for this hat, I think I spent $5 for it. This one I spent $5 for. This one I spent 5 for. This I spent $10 for. Um, I didn't know it was all deteriorating, but these older Mac hats, especially if you get something like that, Trenton and Mac, something really odd not many out there sometimes they can fetch over a hundred bucks a piece um, i've seen mac especially sell quite often for over a hundred dollars it's just one of those collector items or one of those brands that sells very well uh, but i have a lot of hats in here and what i'll do is i'll probably go ahead and look a lot of them up and then i'll put them into dollar boxes i end up getting a bunch of shelves there uh, i don't know how many hats total but i paid five dollars a shelf and there was like seven different shelves. Um, so there was like a cabinet that was counted as one shelf. There's another cabinet counted as one shelf. The hats didn't really go cheap. Um, in fact, the first go around, I got out bid. It sold for I think $17.50 or $20 per hat. And the person who won it bought like 15 or 20 hats at that price. I was only willing to spend $10. And realistically, the only hat that I thought was valuable was probably this Mac hat. So they're spending $20 a hat, take $15, $20, that racks up a pretty large bill. When you keep in consideration that I bought literally shelves of hats for $5 a shelf. So uh, I thought I got a great deal based off bulk. I don't know what I really missed in terms of quality. This was the only three-stripe hat they had in case anyone out there wants to know a little bit about hats in general. Three stripes are pretty popular. Uh, and this was the only like sports-related World Cup hat that I saw. There, there might have been a couple colleges, but not much. Most of them are a random farm. That's, I think, Remington. You have ShopRite. Lincoln, Ford, Mercury, Al Flemington. Random stuff. Um, did buy a couple vintage barn stuff. Uh, this was $5 for the lot. You have a nice little John Deere advertisement there. Uh, some older uh, barn stuff. So they had some barn setups. So I got those. Those are more hats. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of these. There's one bin, so it might be over there, or one uh, barn, I should say, that is tin. It's an old tin one from, I think, 1922. So that was really cool. That was included in a lot with the barns for five bucks. And I spent $10 on all these banks. I can feel right now that thing is empty. Oh, buddy, did I get hosed? I might have got hosed. That's in there. That's in there. This is not in there. I bamboozled myself somehow. That's also empty. That's in there. That's in there. Yeah, so I thought these were all full. That is not. Oh, well. Uh, I'll get my 10 bucks back on that box. Just I got a couple empty boxes here. Uh, which was interesting because there's empty boxes, but they're also... Like, these were on tables. I don't know if these were, but... They're tractors and die cast on tables by itself so who knows uh but 105 bucks i did get one bottle 
that's actually worth a decent amount of money. Really, really cool bottle here. I don't think that's the original cap. Um, but kind of cool. Millville, Pennsylvania, Girton Farm Equipment. Nice little sticker on there, decal. So overall, an awesome day. Thanks for tagging along. A lot of this stuff did go for a lot of money. Um, it was really kind of rare to see anything go for under about $120. A lot of the signs, although I didn't document them, a lot of them sold from anywhere between like 80 to 300. One sign fetched a little over a thousand. So I, the buyers, the collectors were all there. There really wasn't many deals to be had with the antique stuff. Um, a lot of lots, like it was a box lot. They were selling $20 a bottle, $30 a bottle, and then they'd put like six or seven together and it'll sell for like $150. So a lot of the oil stuff went for, I wouldn't say retail, but you weren't getting box lots for $5. You weren't buying shelves of antiques for $5. Uh, and realistically, I would say I probably had probably the lowest bill out of everyone who bought a handful of items just because the money was there. Let's just say that. But uh, I got some cool things. It'll be fun to look through some of this stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Hopefully it'll be a fun one. Let's see what happens. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace. <laughs>